everybody it's your girl cherry and welcome back to life of cherry as you can tell by the title this is the mom tag video and i thought if i'm doing a mom tag video why not have the kid in the video so this is my daughter myla how old are you two this is my daughter myla and she is two years old so I'm just going to let her say a little bit about herself and then we're going to get right into the video. And basically I have Let 20... Let Yes, and when we finish you're going to get a balloon. I promise you she had two bowls. <laughs> Put your head down. She had two bowls before we started, okay? I don't know. You know kids? Kids just be doing their own thing. Milo, what's your favorite color? Uh, white. White. What's your favorite food? What do you like to eat? This happy face. You like to eat fish and happy face french fries? Yes. Okay. What about your toy? What's your favorite toy to play with? Uh, Legos. Yes. What do you like to build with your Legos? Uh, a tower. A tower. You always build in Lego <laughs> towers. As always, before we get into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications, as well as give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> so, happy Mother's Day for all my beautiful moms out there. Um, 20 questions here on this paper, and I'm just going to read them and answer them. Do you want to sit with mommy or you want to get down? I sit with mommy. Okay. So, question number one. How old were you when you had your first child? I was... I was 27 when I had my baby. Question number two. What was the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months? For me, the hardest thing was being a single mom. I went through the whole pregnancy um, without the father. And yeah, that was the hardest part for me. Going through the pregnancy alone. Question number three. Can you think of any good things you enjoyed during those nine months? Oh, yes, definitely. I love to eat. My favorite thing to eat was oxtail cabbage and rice. I was calling people like, bring me oxtail cabbage and rice. On my lunch break, I would go to the um, Jamaica restaurant and get oxtail cabbage and rice. It was crazy. And the funny thing is, I don't even like that. Like, now it's been probably a year or two since I've had it. I don't eat oxtail cabbage and rice. But it was something I was craving my whole pregnancy. I know y'all could probably see the glare of my glasses, but boo, I did a couple of videos without my glasses on and I couldn't see nothing. So, we gonna make it do what it do. Uh, question number four. In your opinion, were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate or way off? I have no clue. I was in labor for two days. Yes, two days I was in labor. Yes, two. It was, everything was a blur. Everything was a blur. Would you... Yes, five. Good job. Question number five. Would you have handled childbirth differently if you could redo it? Redo it? I just said I was in labor for two days. I'm not redoing nothing. History has been written. Done. <laughs> All right. Question number six. What would, what would be your advice for someone who is about to have a baby? If you're about to have a baby, I would say no matter how prepared you think you are, you're never going to be fully prepared. When you have a child, you just have to go with the flow and learn as you go along. I was 27 when I had my daughter and it still wasn't the right moment or the right time for me. So you just have to just, you know, go with the flow and learn as you, you go along. Question number seven, what is the hardest thing about being a mom? For me, it's I'm a single mom, so I deal with mom's guilt a lot. I feel like I always have to give 200% of myself, even though I know I do my best and I'm trying, and people tell me, even my daughter tells me, Mommy, you do a good job. I just feel like it's not enough, so I deal with mom's guilt. That's the hardest thing for me. Question number eight. What has been the most rewarding thing about being a mom? This right here. <laughs> This, just your, your child being unpredictable, you know, I'm just making, she makes me laugh, she brings me joy, she warms my heart, like, it's just, just seeing a little person grow up every day, she does something new, she learns something new, so it's, it's 
it's just amazing. It, it really is a blessing to for women to be able to, you know, give life. Okay, guys, and she's back. <laughs> this this is real life. This is, you know, say mom tag. Mom tag. Hey. <laughs> okay. Question number nine. What is the most surprising thing you discovered about being a mom? The most surprising thing? I'm surprised all the time. Like, kids are really, really smart. Kids, kids are smarter than adults. The way that they're able to pick up on things that you're teaching them is, is amazing. Children can learn a new language like this. Children can learn how to tie their shoes, their ABCs, their num whatever you're teaching a child, they pick up on it quicker than an adult can. So that's the most surprising thing. Like, what? I just showed you how to do that yesterday, and now today, you telling me no, you want to do it by yourself? So, yeah. All right. Question number 10. What is the best memory you have involving your child? I don't know. Every day I strive to, to make a new best memory with, with my daughter. So I can't sit here and think like, oh yeah, that one time, is, it's an everyday thing. So I can tell you every day what was the best memory I had with my child. Question number 11, what was the most exciting milestone? It was when little sis learned how to walk. I was like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> the baby girl is heavy. <laughs> Baby girl is heavy, and I was so over carrying her around with a stroller. I live in New York. We take public transportation. I was carrying strollers up and down stairs. I was done. Question number, question number 12. What is the worst thing your child has ever done? Um, my child's a child. She's a toddler. I don't think there's a worst thing she has ever done. She's scribbled on a wall before. She's broken toys. Like I feel like that's just a part of a child or a toddler growing up and you know learning what they should do and shouldn't do now if your kid is 15 years old and they breaking stuff and coloring on your wall sis mm -mm. question number 13 what habit did you wish your child did not have my daughter grinds her teeth at night when she's sleeping it's like Oh my gosh, it drives me crazy. I be like, yo, <laughs> yo son, yo son. You go Let me play guitar. <laughs> okay. All right, next question. Question number 14. What habit of your child's makes you the most proud i would have to say um my daughter says her prayers and affirmations every night and i don't even have to remind her or tell her to do it she knows it and she just does it on her own sometimes she'll be in a bed and she'll be like oh mommy i forgot to say my affirmations i forgot to say my prayers and then she'll do it do you want to say affirmation yeah. okay say it loud so we can hear it go ahead i am my Smart. Mm -hmm. I am beautiful. This is the way I am. Nothing I will no one I stop me. I, I do anything I put my mind to. to. I will be great. Watch me work. Woohoo! <laughs> so those are the affirmations. It's just, you know, um, a couple of lines that I made up for her to say on her own. And right now she memorizes it and she repeats it and as she gets older every line will begin to have meaning to her in her life i want my daughter to know she's great she's smart she's beautiful and she can do anything she puts her mind to question number 15 do you share any similarities with your child both physically or personality wise um, my daughter grinds her teeth. I grind my teeth too. I didn't even know I grind my teeth. Someone recorded me when I was sleeping one time and was like, listen to the sound you're making. And it was me grinding my teeth. Personality wise, I would say that we both have very strong personalities. Um, she's a mirror. So when she does things, I'm, I'm like, oh my God, that's how I look and sound when I do that. So I'm working on <laughs> turning down my personality just a little bit and... Hopefully, she won't be as demanding as I am. Question number 16. 
Where would you like your child to be in 10 years? Well, right now she's only two. She's about to be three. So in 10 years, she will be 13. I want her to just be doing whatever her heart desires. Just make sure that she is passionate about what she's doing. She remains humble and she remains respectful. So, you know, just I just want her to be a happy teenager. Question number 17. What is something that having a child has taught you? I would say having a child has taught me what unconditional love Aww. is. No matter the type of day I'm having, Aww. the type of day she's having, my daughter still comes to me and tells me that she loves me. She tells me that I'm doing a good job being her mommy. So she has definitely showed me what unconditional love feels like and, and, and that, you know, what it is. No matter what happens, there's no conditions that says, okay, I'm not going to love you today because of this. You love mommy? Yes. Give mommy kisses. Mm. Question number 18. Did you imagine you'd be a mom at the age you became a mom? No, I did not. Um, I don't want to get too much in detail. I will eventually make a video talking about this. But um, I have health issues and I was always told that I could not have children. So I just thought that, you know, me being a mom wasn't in my cards that God dealt me. And I came to terms with that. And miraculously, ding, I was, I was sitting here with the two-year-old. Question number 19. Describe your child in a single sentence. Um, how can I describe you? My daughter's fun, loving, caring. She's very affectionate. Um, she's well behaved. She does listen to mommy, even though sometimes she gotta get a time out. But, but my daughter is, is is a happy a happy toddler, and she just she just knows that. <laughs> and the last question, question number twenty: Have how have you changed as a person since becoming a mom? I've changed because I'm. I'm slowly but surely <laughs> becoming more patient. I'm letting, I sometimes I let my daughter take the lead and just follow her lead. Also, I'm realizing that I have somebody watching me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So I am more mindful of what I say, how I say it, um, the things that I do. So I'm definitely not taking it lightly. I want her to grow up to, to be the best person that she can be. So, you know, she has taught me or she's teaching me to just be a better me so she can be a better her. Anyways, guys, that was my mom's tag video featuring Myla. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And we will see you in our next video. Bye.